over two thirds of our planet, is covered by ocean. And yet most of its inhabitants are strangers to us. Oh. Scientists may have identified only a tiny percentage of the world's marine species. But now, researchers and volunteers from around the globe are counting on an unprecedented project to discover more. Called the Census of Marine Life, it's an attempt to assess marine biodiversity, past, present, and future. To contribute to this ambitious task, the Canadian Centre for Marine Biodiversity is leading some research in areas they call discovery corridors. It's a relatively small patch of ocean, given the size of the planet, but the corridor still stretches 500 miles from the coast, an area larger than the state of Maine. Paul Snellgrove, one of the principal scientists on a recent mission, explains. If we try to tackle everything at once, then it seems really overwhelming. So what we're trying to do here is to focus biodiversity research on one geographic region in order to get a better handle on our understanding of biodiversity for at least that one geographic region of the world. Counting all the marine life here is a massive job. But luckily, scientists have a helping hand. A remotely operated underwater survey vehicle named ROPOS, operated by the Canadian Scientific Submersible Facility. Its special pressure-resistant design allows researchers to see what's happening 8,000 feet below the ocean's surface, far deeper than any previous explorations in the corridor. ROPOS serves as the researchers' eyes and ears, recording video and still images. Its dual lasers work as an undersea measuring stick while a robotic arm collects samples, allowing biologists like Peter Lawton to get their own hands on what Ropos discovers. I can do the same kind of work that I would do myself, either uh, walking along a shore, collecting individual organisms as I did as a child. I can do that now with these technologies in, in deep water environments. Ropos is a well-equipped robot with tools that vacuum, snip, and dig into the ocean floor. So what we're trying to do is to sample the seafloor using various coring devices, which we push into the sediment, we bring them back to the surface, and then we take the sediments out of these and examine them for the organisms that live in the sediments. Ropos is also giving us a better understanding of how much of an impact humans have on life far beneath the ocean's surface. For the last 15 years, we've been studying the effects of human activities on the seabed habitat and our communities. And one of the major lessons we've learned is the importance of really understanding the communities in their natural state. And this is a program which will supply this information about the seabed over a large variety of habitats. By taking a close-up, detailed look, at one small part of our vast oceans, scientists hope not only to learn how to protect the species we know about, but also those yet to be discovered. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium.